there, turn my microphone on. I just read this one, and I'm not quite sure of some of your wording here. Total square footage of the house over bricks. I don't know what that means. Over the framing, I don't know what that means. Under the roof? Yeah. Can anyone tell me how this play with you, Bob? <clears throat> total perimeter of the house is total square footage. I'll cover what I understand of your of your post, and then you can take it from there. Basically, I just drew a model here, and I click towards the outside, left click. I got lucky. <laughs> Sometimes you click and get a wall, then you have to hit the tab key, and the tab key again. Tab key, okay. There, I got it. When you get this uh, bounding box around the entire plan, um, oh, it doesn't work the way the same way in chief architect as in chief architect. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to have to do it the hard way. <clears throat> yeah, Pro's pretty good, but uh, Chief Architect's better. In Chief, I could just, there would be a button here in the Edit Toolbar, and I could just click it and have a polyline. So I'll just draw one. I'm going to change to the CAD Toolbar. I didn't, I didn't pre-rehearse this, as, as you could probably guess. I'm going to use this uh, Box Tools, and this tool here is called Rectangular Polyline. And I'll let it snap to the outside of the framing there. And see a little red, that little red box? That tells me that I'm right on the edge of the framing. Let me zoom in so you can actually see, or I, so I can actually be sure. Oops. I created a tiny little polyline. Let me just click on this. Okay, it's on the outside of the siding. I want it on the edge of the framing, because that will measure the foundation. Uh, the fr edge of the framing always matches the edge of the foundation. So... Since this isn't Chief Architect, I'm going to have to work a little harder. Okay, that's in the right place. See, I'm just zooming in to make sure that the line is where I think it is and not on the siding. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> now, we'll click here. No, I don't want that. I'm going to hit the Escape key. I want that Move handle, and we'll snap it over here to the outside edge of this. Uh, again, the siding. Whoops, that's the wall. I'm going to hit the left click and then hit the tab key until I get my uh, polyline. I think that's it. Where is it? No. Let me just click on that on this polyline over here. There we go. There's the move handle. Right there. Okay, it is on the edge of the siding. I just, I just wanted to make sure. <clears throat> so we're part the way there. This isn't terribly hard. I'm going to use the break tool, which comes up in the edit toolbar. Normally this thing's down here, but I, I pull it off so people can actually see that it says edit on it. Otherwise, you wouldn't know what I was talking about, perhaps. Use the break tool and put a break. See that little red thing there? Because right on the corner where the uh, that polyline meets the siding, snap it to the outside, go down to the same thing. This actually has, there's method in this madness. Just hang on, hang on with me. <clears throat> in Chief Architect, that already been done. But forgive me for keep referring to Chief, but uh, when I use Pro, it just reminds me of how great Chief is. <laughs> okay, well, I've got this polyline where I want it. Now, with it selected, I'm going to open it, and you go to the polyline. Uh, tab. Now this will tell you the perimeter in inches and the area in square feet and the volume. Of course this is a two-dimensional polyline so that's the reason it says zero volume because two dimension. Volume means 3D and, and this is a 2D uh, polyline. It will give you the area and the perimeter and if you want it in feet and I clicked on the number style tab here and I can change what that readout looks like to uh, like feet and inches, decimal feet, and so forth. Now I'll click OK. Now it reads in feet. And this reads the perimeters in feet, 161 feet, 6 inches. And you, you get the idea. OK, so that's how you can get that. And it's just very easy once you've got this thing created to just snap it onto the roof. So I'm just snapping it to the roof. Left click, drag, snapping it to the roof. Roof edge. Let me move that out of the way. Snap. Snap.
snap and one more snap and then just oops I missed this little corner over here started to get ahead of myself and <clears throat> we'll just open the dialogue again look at the polyline there there's the perimeter of the roof the area of the roof <clears throat> now this just gives the gross area and in terms of surface area this isn't true for the roof you understand but you said under the roof and so forth and this is what I thought of in order to get you that data now how you show it in plan view I would just <laughs> I would just take a text box if I were you and yeah we'll just click here and uh, put the data in there and you can uh, I just I just get some keys I don't care what it is I'm just demonstrating uh, we're going to display a border and display a we don't need a fill but we won't, I, I thought I'd put a border okay let me do this play nice here so it's 173 and 6 let's write that down 173 feet 6 inches and uh, area is 1543.56 SF okay then I open my uh, text box and I'll, I'll play nice here hit the all caps key what was that once uh, 1543 point uh, five six look out now I don't know how to spell Let me hit the spell checker oh my god <laughs> pro didn't have a spell checker boy am I screwed <laughs> hang on a second I have to I have to cheat and fall back on Chrome then. There we go. P E R I M E T E R. Sorry. P E R I meter. And that's uh, 173. See, I told you I wrote it down. 173 feet six inches. And then so on. I could put the polyline back. You get the idea. I'm not going to do it again, but I could snap it back here and then add that data here. And that's how I would do it if, if you know somebody wanted me to show it. So as a demonstration, that's what I thought of. I'm not quite sure what you meant by. Um, oops, not that. Not quite sure what you meant by un over the bricks, under the framing. But uh, perhaps my demonstration will help you figure it because I'm sure you I know you understand what you what you meant and said. Okay, thank you. I hope this hope this helps you.